All right, so seven and eight, revise and check. That's pre intermediate level. Uh, we're going to tackle grammar and vocabulary on this page. So we're going to start with grammar. So we need to circle A, B, or C. We've got multiple choice questions here. Question number one um, as you can see, I need some emails. I need some emails. So after need, this is about the patterns. So after need, the word need, if I want to use another verb, the second verb has to take two plus infinitive form. Two plus infinitive form. So that will be A as the answer, guys. All right. So number two, the situation is difficult. Difficult is adjective, guys. After difficult. So after adjective we use two plus infinitive like i'm happy to see you i'm glad to meet you i'm sorry to hear that likewise difficult is adjective so the situation is difficult to explain number three i don't know what the so question words after question words we also use two plus infinitive like i don't know what to do i don't know where to go i don't know what to eat I don't know when to start and so on. So we're going to go for B as the answer. Number four, I don't really mind. After mind, so there are verbs like mind, love, hate, enjoy, avoid, deny. There are several verbs in English language after them. In case I want to use a verb, that verb has to take durian form, which is ing form. So here we're going to use C. I don't really mind doing housework because of the verb mind. Okay. Number five is one of the best form of exercise. So is is a verb. So before the verb, we should apply subject and gerund. Gerund can come as subject because swimming is gerund and gerund we can use as a subject. Number six, that's a question. Bring our books tomorrow. So, do we have to bring our books tomorrow? Have we to bring our books tomorrow? Do we must? So, here B and C is no good. We don't say have we to to make question. Have to, the question of have to, we use do or does. For negative, we say don't, like I don't have to, or he doesn't have to. So likewise, the question is, do we have to or does he have to? So A will be the right answer for us. We don't say do we must. Because must is a modal verb. I want to make question with modal verb. I must use modal verb itself. Like must we go now? Must we do now? And etc. Number seven, it's free. So if it's free, you don't have to pay. A will be the answer. You don't have to pay. Because again, have to, question and negative form of have to, we use through the auxiliary of do and does. If it's question, do or does. If it's negative, we say don't or doesn't have to. Number eight, you must your grandmother. You must. Must is a modal verb. After that, we must use infinitive only. Infinitive only, without two guys. Infinitive only, not ing. Number nine, you drink so much coffee. Drinking a lot of coffee is not a good idea. So here we are giving advice. Uh, so for the advice of coffee, we say you shouldn't drink too much coffee. All right, guys. So let's scroll it down. There you go. Ten, I think you should to her about it. You should is modal verb. So after modal verbs, we use infinitive only, guys. So you should talk. 11. If she, she won't come back. So look, this is conditional. And more clearly, it's a first conditional, guys. First conditional. For first conditional, um, the main clause, uh, main clause, as you can see, the main part is will or will not. She won't come back. Uh, the if part, according to the grammar that we have learned, and if part, we must use present tense. 
So here, if she, this is not good because past simple, this is will. In if part, we can never ever use will, guys. Don't forget that. Right? In if part, we are not using will at all. So we're going to go only for the A option, which is present simple. If she goes, she won't come back. 12. If they don't come soon, if they don't come soon, so again, first conditional, guys, yeah? Same thing, first conditional. So this time we have to tackle the main part. The first part is done. Look, if part, if they don't come soon. So the main clause we're going to use in will or won't, we won't see them. Okay, this is first conditional. That's why we're going to use will or won't. Question 13. Call me if you a taxi. Call me if you a taxi. So if again we are using uh, this is this topic is about first conditional. So we must use in if part present simple. So if you don't find, as I said, in if part, in if clause, huh, we don't use won't or will. We can't. And because this is the first conditional, we can't use past simple form as well. Right. So 14, whose book is that? It is my, the mine, mine. It is mine. That would be the answer. It is mine. It's mine. 15, she forgot his birthday, but he didn't forget hers. Like my birthday. So we're using possessive pronoun, guys. Yeah. Mine, hers, yours. So she forgot his birthday. But he didn't forget her birthday. I mean, we can say her birthday here. Yeah. It's her birthday. We can just say hers as well. Just like that, guys. Hers. All right, then. So grammar part is done. Now we're moving to vocabulary. Let's do that. So vocabulary. Circle the correct verb. All right, we will do that. When did you know? When did you meet your husband? So, uh, when did you meet will be the right answer. Meeting the husband. When did you meet your husband? Did you tell or did you say Mark? Did you tell Mark? Because after tell, we must use object. Object or object pronoun. Like he told me, I told him, I told my brother. He tells, he, uh, he tells his mom. So uh, after say, we shouldn't use object. He said that. He says. Hmm? So tell will be the answer here. If we don't run, we will miss the train. Miss will be the right answer here. Not lose. I really wait. I really hope she, she has passed the exam. Hoping. I am hoping for good thing. My mother always carries or wears a lot of jewelry. The jewelry wears. My mother wears a lot of jewelry, not carries. We carry bag, right? Okay, so let's go up to do exercise B. There you go. So exercise B complete with a verb from the list. Okay, then. So the first one, don't. To turn off the light before you go. So that will be don't forget. Don't forget to turn off the light before you go. Number two, I want to speak. I want to speak Italian before my trip to Verona. So it will be learn. I want to learn. Right, so number three. Number three, going out. Going out is durant, so we can use mind or feel like or enjoy. After these verbs, we use durant. But here, feel like would be the right answer. Do you feel like? It means do you want to go out? So do you feel like going out for dinner later? Number four, I promise to pay back. I promise. Number five, my pants are very punctual. So they respect time. So they hate being late. They hate being late. 
Number six, do you waiting here until I'm ready? ready? So it's going to be, do you mind? Do you mind waiting here until I'm ready? Number seven, I really making cakes. It's so relaxing. If something is so relaxing, so we're talking about enjoy. I really enjoy. Number eight, when are you going to, using the printer, but finish, this is the last word. When are you going to finish using? Mm -hmm. When are you going to finish using the printer? I need it. So that's done. Now we're moving to C, guys. Exercise C. C says complete the sentence with a preposition. The preposition, as you can see, on, in, from, under, and that. So many other prepositions. So let's see what we can do here. Number one. She was really angry, so after angry with me, with somebody. She was really angry with me because I was late. Number two, are you interested? After interested, we use in this TV program. Number three, when I was a child, I was afraid. After afraid, we use off. I'd really like to be good at dancing. After good, we use at. I'm good at dancing. I'm good at talking. I'm good at running. and etc number five eating too many sweets and biscuits is bad for you or for your health right so she's done Ex uh, exercise d complete complete the get phrases so we need to use get phrases here we didn't have the sat now and we got so starting with l so we got lost so we didn't write we got lost Number two, I'm always really hungry when I get home, obviously. Because the word starting with H, guys, yeah? The word starting with H, home. Number three, the word start with B. So she was very ill, but luckily she is getting. So if it's luckily, that means she is getting better. Number four, we got two for the theater to see a show. We got two. So for theater, we need tickets, right? The tickets. Okay, number five. I get very well with my brother, brothers and sisters. So get on. I get on very well. Number six. They were married for ten years, but six months ago they got. So that was D. So divorced. They got divorced. Seven. When I was young, I got a lot of on my birthday, a lot of presents or gifts. That's it. Exercise D has also been completed. So um, we've got pronunciation left. Pronunciation, I mean, as long as, I mean, that's my point of view, as long as we know how to read or how to say the words in a correct way, that's important. But for some students who would like to know in detail, I'm going to go through the sounds here. Vowel sounds. This is uh sound. This is the first one. Uh sound. And we've got here prolonged sound, which is oo, uh, like bull, boot. Bull, boot. And we've got here ng sound. Ng, like singer. 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 This is the sound, which is vase, vase, and the next one is b sound. So this is consonant sounds, yeah, consonant. So b as bag, m as monkey, n as nose. Okay. So if you know this sound, uh, it help. It will help you to understand the dictionary. Like when you check the dictionary, you re usually find something called transcription. Transcription means is how, how is the writing of how to say, the writing of a sound. Uh, but nowadays, you know, we've got technology, so we've got this, you know, like audio files as well of every single word. So you can just listen to it as well. Right. So we can skip B, uh, exercise C. What sound in A do the pink letters have these words? Okay, just like choose, choose. This is like. Who's it's like boot, oo sound, yeah, choose. And then we've got here look, which is bull, short uh sound, look, choose, look, 
love, like as va, vase, uh, the sound, love. And then we've got doing, like singer, ng sound, doing. And no, like a nose, no, right? So again, choose, look, love, doing, no. And that's it. Exercise D. Stress is important, obviously, guys. Stress. Where to put the stress? As in other languages, uh, English language also has got syllables, right? Every word, it could be one syllable or two syllables or three syllables. So when you got like two syllable or three syllables, then one syllable should be pronounced higher or louder than the other syllable, okay? And this is, we call them stress. So we'll try to find here which syllable is taking the stress here, guys, right? So D, question number one, survive. Survive, this is, uh, I'm putting the stress on the second syllable. I'm not saying survive. Yeah, I'm saying survive. Survive. As you can see, it, maybe you can feel it. The vive is higher than the first one. Survive. Happiness. Happiness. That is the first syllable, guys. Happiness. I'm not saying happiness or happiness. Hmm? I'm saying happiness. So the first syllable is having the stress on it. Afraid. 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 Second syllable. Afraid. Pretend. Pretend. Again, second syllable. And then borrow. 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 First syllable. Number five. First syllable is taking the stress on. So one more time. Survive. Happiness. Afraid. Pretend. Borrow. So that's it. Now we have completed with seven and eight revise and check. In the next videos, we're going to continue with the next units, which is nine and ten revise and check. Uh, I hope uh, this is going to help you uh, in exams, guys. Yes. So, well, thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.